Hello Beetle friends, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you an exciting grail find which I received in the mail today and that is the Beatles and Frank Ifield on stage. This is the second pressing in uh, the authentic portrait cover which is very rare and sought after by vinyl collectors and Beatles collectors. I'm going to uh, discuss the history of this particular album and I'm going to show you how to identify uh, uh, you know, certain things to make sure it's either if it's a counterfeit or if it's the real deal the authentic pressing and I'm also going to discuss how I found this album and uh, how much I paid for it so uh, let's begin and let's let me discuss the the history of this album now this album was pressed in uh, uh, 1964 and uh, at the time uh, uh, the Beatles were uh, VJ still had rights to the Beatles music even though their music was distributed was actually distributed by Capitol Records uh, Capitol had the rights to issue their music now uh, VJ was was still was still uh, uh, still had the rights and uh, uh, it expired by October of 1964. Now, this was the last thing that VJ pressed before uh, they lost the rights to the Beatles music in uh, October of 1964. Now, this is a second pressing. Uh, the first pressing is uh, it's titled Jolly What? The Beatles and Frank I Field on Stage. On the front cover, it has um, a drawing of the British Statesman, which is uh, considered the old man cover. Now that one is a very it, it, it is rare but but um uh, it is uh, easier to find than this portrait album uh, even though there's also counterfeits of the Jolly Wet album in both stereo and mono but um uh, uh that album Jolly Wet uh that that didn't do well in album sales uh it did poorly and uh, VJ wanted to release one more record before they lose the rights to the Beatles music, and uh, they they uh, uh, they had the idea of uh, repackaging the Jolly What Beatles and Frank Ifield album, and um, uh, remove the old man cover and and uh, use a portrait of the Beatles instead for this pressing now. This there's not many copies of this portrait album press. I did uh, enough research to to see uh, you know how many copies there really are pressed of this album, this particular album, and and um, uh, I've read somewhere that only a hundred were pressed. There's not many copies that made it to record stores. Now the stereo is much rare, much rarer. Uh, this is the second rarest, uh, the, the number one rarest is the stereo since uh, I don't know how many of the stereo copies were pressed, but there, there weren't that many and that one's rare. And the stereo copy of this album goes for about 20 grand or something uh, on, on eBay. Oh, there's an eBay listen of it, but um, uh, this one's a mono, it's not the stereo now. Now... Uh, that was the reason of uh, this particular pressing with the portrait was uh, uh, they wanted to re repackage the Jolly What Beatles and Frank Ifield album and place the portrait cover here to see if if it did anything. You know, unfortunately, it's still it's still tanked. Uh, it didn't do anything album sales, and not many were pressed. But um, uh, uh, it's very nice. It's um, very nice uh, as of right now. Uh, I'm excited and uh, and at a loss of words at this moment. So I'm going to be going off on a tangent a lot in this video. So please bear with me. Uh, I, I I think I went off on a tangent a little bit discussing the history of this album. But um, all right. Uh, let me uh, closely uh, show you the album here from top to bottom. Looks nice. It has some wear on the edges on the corners. Uh, there's some wear there. But overall, it's really nice and wonderful condition. It, this thing would still sell for a lot in this condition. But um, uh, it's a nice portrait of the Beatles. It's a drawing of them. 
Uh, this is the portrait photo that you see on uh, the Love Me Do single, picture, picture sleeve single released by Tolly Records. And um, uh, uh, these are the four songs that are on the album uh, of the Beatles. Please Please Me. You notice there's a comma there after the first please. Thank you, girl, from me to you and ask me why. And uh, the rest of the album are Frank Ifield songs. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I get a kick out of the Frank Ifield songs. I actually enjoy them myself. <laughs> but um, All right, now I'm going to reveal how to tell you know, um, you know, look, you know, how to tell what, you know, if your copy of, of this album, the portrait cover is either an authentic or a fake. So, uh, let's, let's begin. First of all, the background of this album cover, it's got to be a, a dark blue, uh, dark purple. Where's the, the counterfeit, which I'm going to show you, it's going to have a, a sky blue color as a background. I don't know if you can see it closely, but it's a sky blue color. And another thing to look for, right here, the lines right by right by John's rear. Lines are drawn here as well as right around George. They have to be present on the front cover. If they're not present, then uh, it is a, a a counterfeit. It's another another thing that that uh, if if that's if that's not there then uh, uh, it is on the, then uh, it's if it's missing then uh, you have a counterfeit as you can see the drawings are missing it's easy to see here and uh, and the catalog number is missing too on the counterfeit it has to be present right here that's the VJ catalog number VJ dash ten eighty five it has to be there those those uh, the three things I mentioned, it has to be there on the front cover in order for it to be uh, uh, the real deal, the authentic copy. And the next thing you have to look for, uh, let me take the plastic off. Uh, if you take a look at the spine, if I can get this position to where you can see it, it has to have, can you see it? Hold on. All right, now it does have the album title uh, and artist on the spine here. It's got to say, it's got to say England's greatest recording stars, the Beatles and Frank Ifield on stage. Let me uh, try again here, but yeah, it's got to have the the entire title of of the record on the spine here. If if you look at the spine and it, and it's blank, then you have a counterfeit. So those are four things uh, that that you have to look for to, to see if you have the real deal or if it's a counterfeit. But um, that's the fourth thing you have to look for is make sure the spine is not blank. But the spine, it has the, the album title and the artist on here. So that's what you have to look for. And uh, if, if it's there, you have the real deal. If not, then uh, it's a you know, not the real deal, but all right. Let me show you the back. Uh, nothing different from the Jolly What album. Uh, uh, VJ used the same track list slick that was on the, the Jolly What album, and as you can see, "Please Please Me" is listed with a comma. And here's the uh, information that this copulation has been presented. That's a that's a typo here, but um, that 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 mistake is also on uh, the Jolly What album. So, all right, uh, let me show you the records. I I don't have the records in this jacket. Now, uh, before I show you the records, I want to show you this spine here. It's it just has wear on the top, the bottom, and also partially on the spine here. But there are no. I repeat. I repeat. I repeat. There are no scene splits whatsoever on this album. But that doesn't mean I'm going to put the record in the jacket. I'm going to leave it out. So <laughs> I'm going to leave it out and put it on the back of the album in the plastic. So, all right, let me get the record here. Okay, before I show the record, I want to show the VJ inner sleeve that came with the album. 
Uh, it's a uh, it's an acceptable condition. There's some uh, seam splits and some wear here and some creases, but but it's still nice. All right, here's the record on VJ monocopy, and um, it looks like it's in VG plus. It does have some uh, inner sleeve marks on it, but uh, looks really nice. And uh, there's like only one spindle mark on on the side two label. So uh, this really, it is dirty. It is going to need some cleaning, but um, this one is, uh, uh, lo looks like it was not, it was barely played. But um, uh, that's for a good reason. That, as you can see, it's on the VJ Color Band Brackets label. Here's a matrix and run out. Tri a triangle symbol, 6295. 64-3852 URJ 1-1864 and uh, that's that's a matrix numbers of side side one here and uh, let me flip this over okay here's side two of the record it the side the matrix numbers for side two are tr uh, the triangle symbol 6295x 60 uh, 64 dash 3853 URJ 1-1864 and if it has those matrix numbers on the record and you have an authentic copy okay I was looking through Discogs for Beatles records and I found a listing for this album and uh, this was listed for about I think 70 to 80 euros which is a, a, a higher two-digit dollar amount, uh, U.S. U.S. dollars. And uh, believe it or not, the album was located in Greece. Uh, a, a seller in Greece was was, was selling this album. Uh, he owned a record store in Greece, and uh, he had a, a listen of this album on Discogs. Now, what happened was I placed an order for this. Uh, this this was uh, under a lit. Uh, a listen on discogs where uh, it has a, a full a front cover the portrait cover it looked like this it looked like the real deal so I thought I'd give him a try so I placed an order and then uh, I messaged him asking for photos of the album and uh, if he had any that he would email me the photos and he did and he emailed me uh, the, uh, this particular album you know photos of this particular album and I went ahead and said, Dio, I'll take it. And uh, uh, he shipped it from Greece. Uh, I had to pay international shipping, uh, which is about, I don't know, $20. So I paid almost 100 for this. But uh, it's well worth $100, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, to tell you the truth. Because this, this one goes for thousands of dollars. But um, uh, uh, it, took a, it took about a week to arrive. Uh, it arrived today. And uh, I, I've been, and uh, the weight, believe, and uh, the believe me, the weight was killing me. I really wanted this album in my hands, and uh, uh, it arrived safe and sound this afternoon. And uh, uh, happy to have this rarity in my hands, and that I only paid almost a hundred dollars for this. I don't like to reveal prices I paid for records. But this is the exception here. I have to reveal how much I paid for this. Uh, there you have it. Uh, I have a, an authentic copy of the Portrait album, The Beatles and Frank I Field on Stage. Uh, so stoked to have this. Uh, I'm, as of right now, I'm, uh, even though I, I, I explained everything the best I could, I, I'm at a loss of words. I'm just so happy to have this particular press. And it's been on my wish list for a long time, as well as uh, other Beatle fans' wish list. But I'm so so happy to finally have this. Uh, I'm going to be on a quest for a stereo one, but that's going to get harder, but, but hey, I can live with this, and I only paid a higher two-digit dollar amount, so, uh, right, uh, because I received this, I'm going to, at some point, I'm going to do a, uh, VJ Albums collection, I'm also going to show the singles that my, my father purchased in the 60s on VJ, so look out for that, and you're going to see this album again, so. All right, that wraps up this uh, Grail update. Hope you enjoy seeing this album. And uh, like I said, uh, stay tuned for more videos. And talk to you all later. Thank you very much for watching.
Take care.